back to another one of my videos. This is the one you've all been waiting for about the air filter and my new design. Super flow. Let's go. Okay, uh, this is the air hose you was running with. I've made a quite a crap attempt of sealing it and I've just missed something. So I'm gonna have to put a bit more of this aluminium tape on. Try and seal it up a bit better. Hope it doesn't leak like a sieve all over the place. Which it probably will. Anyway, that's why we're gonna try and measure it the way I'm gonna measure it. Is we're gonna first of all we'll measure the weight of this empty cup. So that's 236 grams. Then we're gonna fill up this arrows quickly, <laughs> rather quickly, and then tip the water into the into the other glass. Two, three, six. Oh, it's leaking a little bit. Okay. So we've gone to two, three, six to four, five, six. That's quite a bit of volume, actually. Okay, uh, I've made another maybe failed attempt to seal this one, but we'll do it as quick as we can. Right, we're gonna fill this one up, tip it in the glass quickly, and uh, see how much volume we've got in this. So we're on 236 now, and we'll see what the new volume is. Ah, not enough water. <laughs> Right, restart. I need more water. Right, we'll have a take two now. Let's see if I can have another go. I'll fill the glass right to the top this time and see if I've got enough, uh, enough in here. Just about, I think. Looks like we lost some. Oh, it's gone off. I don't think it likes the water very much. Okay. So that's 505, but I think I lost a little bit. But it's still more. 505. So we've got 50 grams more, more or less. An extra 50 grams in this one compared with that one. Right, in the end I had to use my syringe <laughs> to, uh, to get the millilitres because I tried to get it on Google, I couldn't get it, it, it just wouldn't work it out for you. So I had to do it physically. So we uh, moved the water over, counted the millilitres and what we've got is volume on this, what, this uh, air hose was 225 millilitres volume. And on the new arrows is 270 millilitres. So it's uh, just under 50 millilitres, well it's 45 millilitres more volume in this arrows. But there is other things involved, is why having that extra volume in front of, directly in front of the carb, gives the carb more to suck from initially. So lower down on throttle response, it's better because it's got that initial draw of volume of air, rather than it being pulled through a longer hose. Longer hoses tend to uh, increase torque, but they will remove RPM. The longer the, longer the velocity stack on an engine, the more RPM you, you, you'll lose, but it increases torque. Shorter velocity stack, gives you higher RPM and less torque. So having more volume in front of the carb tends to increase the response low down uh, of volume of air and it will rev on a little higher. And we've got other stuff involved, which I'm gonna show you right at the end of the video. Okay, we're back on the bike and we're gonna look at some other things here. Now, this basically is the emissions tube out of the, the carburetor. Now the length of this and the volume of this determines your airbox volume size. 
how much air box you need is determined by the length of the, the tube in front of the air box and the volume of it. So it's very difficult to work this out on a Lambretta because everything is different sizes. So we're only going to work a pro to an approximate. So it will give us some sort of uh, idea of what size air box we actually require and whether the actual Lambretta air box is anywhere near what it should be. So, if we're going to look approximate lengths, so we're looking at about 122 and a stub on the bottom, say 30, so we're looking at about 152 millile milli millimetres. 152 millimetres. And the diameter of this, we're going to take. Uh, this is smaller, that's larger, so we'll go more or less the in-between of it. So we're looking at 50, 55 mil. I'm going to go as an average. 55 millimetres. Millimetres. So now we need to calculate the volume of this. So we'll do a little calculation, work out our volume, and then we'll go and check on my computer and see what the actual air box should be. Okay, we'll open up our uh, airbox calculator and um, we'll select a uh, single cylinder and then we'll go to our uh, resonance which is going to be uh, RPM. So that's going to be 7000 RPM more or less for this bike. And then we'll have to check our volume. So We'll select our volume now. And then we'll, we'll select our uh, length. And the length, length is uh, 15.2 millimeters, uh, centimeters, sorry. And the area was uh, 36 centimeters square. So we'll put that into the calculation and it comes out with an air, air box volume of 1.28 four there we go so that's 1.284 centimeters squared okay we'll put my modified one back on now as this is now no longer a tube going from the carb up it changes the way the engine performs because it's increased air, air volume directly in front of the carb for the carb to uh, so it's kind of tricking it into believing it's got an air box directly in front of it and then a feed to the air box from here so the bigger you put this volume directly in front of the carb this then behaves more like an air box and not like a tube so that's why by doing this i will i will decrease my torque a little bit but it will allow the engine to rev on uh, much higher than with a tube and the smaller diameter of the tube the more it will restrict your revs so um, like an LI type or SX type air hose not the GP will restrict your revs more than a GP a GP will rev on more with a GP air hose because it's bigger diameter uh, it's like a longer stack a longer Venturi velocity stack will decrease RPM but increase torque the other way around shorter stack will decrease uh, torque and increase RPM so we're trying to get around a happy medium whereas we can have good throttle response and allow the engine to rev a little bit freer with this with this design that I've done Okay, I know at the start of this video, early on in the video, I promised to show you what I've done inside the arrows to increase flow. So here we're, we're going to take a look now inside. So as you can see, it's got a shaped intake. So that shaped intake directs the air into the carburetor and speeds up airflow. If you can see that. 
Nobody else has got that. That's how I've designed it, and it works. The bike performs beautifully now with this with this on. Okay, we'll give it a little run up with the uh, with the super modified air hose on, and you can have a listen to what the engine sounds like now. end of this video uh, I hope you all enjoyed it um, don't forget to like and subscribe but I'm off to watch the end of the race I'll see you all later